today I want to talk with you about this beautiful prints I made. Uh, the first time I held one in my hand I was very excited and I uh, had to show it some of my friends. And they were amazed about the prints so I had to make a video, make a video out of it. And uh, how the idea came up with these prints? This was pretty easy because uh, if you watch my videos you know that I often need parts for my cameras and mostly I design the parts for myself and then a friend of mine printed the parts but right now uh, during the pandemic I didn't want to travel too much so I thought I'd get myself a 3D printer and I bought the Artillery Sidewinder X1 printer uh, pretty happy with it as you can imagine the first thing I did after I got the printer I modified it so I enforced it, I printed some parts to make it steadier and to avoid wobbling if I print parts that are a little bit taller uh, and after I did that, I started printing and <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the printer broke somehow. <laughs> and I had to repair it. Uh, it's actually a good thing, but right now I know how the printer works and uh, I learned a lot about 3D printing because I had to disassemble the whole printer and I think it's, it's pretty cool that I know that right now. So, the printer worked then finally and uh, I started printing parts from my house, from a digital camera even and I was quite lucky that a shop from Germany asked me if I can print him uh, these holders for the brass birdie, you know, for the watch the birdie thingy. So I printed two of those, if anybody needs some of those just let me know, I can print it for you. And uh, then I figured out I can 3D print images. This is somehow cool, I thought, you know. Because the first time I, I made one of these images and held it in my hand, I thought it's similar to the wet lit collodion process, right? Because the wet lit collodion process is kind of maybe 3D printing. You know, the light and the developer manifests the silver on the plate in layers. And afterwards, uh, the silver that's not uh, exposed to light is uh, washed away with the fixer. So if you have ever seen a resin printer uh, working, it's similar because the resin printer uh, exposes with uh, UV light and, and makes uh, uh, the print, uh, harden the print with UV, UV light. So that's pretty similar from my point of view. These prints are interesting. They are called lithophanes and they work like that. Every part of the image uh, that is uh, dark, right, is printed thicker. So uh, it's a void to get too much light. Uh, shining through and every part of the image that is brighter is printed thinner so more light comes through and if you look at this these images like that you can't see anything or it looks like a strange relief but if light uh, shines through uh, you can uh, see the image and that reminded me again on the wet light collodion process because if I shoot an ambrotype and you look uh, at it like this through my face you don't see anything or it doesn't make sense but if I move it and put it here on a, a dark spot the image reveals right so it's the second similarity it has with the wet lit collodion process and also the haptics is super nice you know it's like uh, you can feel the print this could be something for people that cannot see they could feel an image finally I think I really like it it's very touchy I even can feel the strings here from uh, the plate holder, you know, where I have the strings attached so the plate uh, is uh, holded in place. I even can feel it here. It's really, really nice. And you can feel the bouquet or bouquet or bouquet. I don't know. However you, you want to call it, I call it bouquet. You can feel it with your hands. This is pretty cool. So did you ever experience a bouquet with your fingers? <laughs> I'm not sure if you did that. Yeah. It also takes a long time to make these beautiful prints. Uh, one print takes uh, about uh, 17 hours to print because I have to print very slowly. The outer shell must be printed very slowly to get enough detail out of it that it makes a, a beautiful print. And it took me a long time to figure out what material I should use <coughs> that looks nice. And uh, there are a lot of other settings for 3D printing until I was able to, to make these beauties here. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I talked enough right now. I will show you now a video uh, that presents all the prints with backlight, without backlight, so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. And afterwards, uh, I'll let you know where you can get them. Many of these beautiful prints are available in my eBay store. I will put the link up here and also down in the description. Uh, with buying one of these prints, you support me and my work. And you will also get a coupon code for my analog store, where you get 15% off of shirts like that and fun products like this one. So yes, <clears throat> that's pretty it about the video. If you guys want to know a little bit more about how I printed uh, these beautiful things, which settings that I use, which, which filament did I use and much more about it, let me know. Put it down in the description and I will do a second video about it with more uh, deep dive settings and stuff. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching again. Uh, hit the thumbs up button that helps the channel and I'll be back guys.